Hello everybody, it's Landon, and welcome back. After a very long hiatus, I put out some feelers to see if anybody would be interested in seeing me play some video games again. It's been a very, very long time. Um, it seemed to be a resounding, yes, please do. Um, so, I'm doing it. Uh, as always, this is a hobby of mine, not really a job, so I'm not going to guarantee that it will always continue and be right on the money every single day and stuff like that. Um, but here it is. Uh, we've got some new next-gen PS5 gameplay coming your all's way. This is Demon Souls. I've recently platinumed this game. Um... Uh, so I'm basically a master. I'm just kidding. I, I'm not a master at this game at all. But I know my way around it pretty well. Um, we're going to start a new game and kind of see where it goes. Um, I wouldn't say this... I'm not going to guarantee that this is going to be a 100% walkthrough. Uh, I'm going to stay offline, by the way. I don't want to be invaded and stuff. It's annoying. Uh, we'll leave the screen here and talk for a little bit more. I didn't want the video to keep trying to come on if you wait too long. The opening video of the game keeps trying to play, so... Um, so, like I was saying, I don't believe this is going to be a 100% walkthrough. Uh, it's going to be a little touch and go on that. I, we'll see how I'm feeling. It takes a lot to do 100% and all that. And I just did it, and I don't really feel like doing it again. Plus, there's stuff with light and dark tendencies in this game. Feel free to look it up on your own. I, I might explain it while I'm playing, too. Depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but I know generally where everything is, um, and how to get most things. Uh, a lot of that is attributed to a walkthrough by the guy... Uh, named Fighting Cowboy on YouTube, so a big shout out to him. I'm going to use some techniques from him. I'm going to use techniques I've learned on my own. Uh, little tips and tricks. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm going to create my character real quick. Body type B. Gotta get, be a burly man. Um, here's your class selection. Really, you can pick almost anything. I would not be a wanderer, barbarian, royalty, or a hunter. Anything else, you've got some pretty good starting stats. So, for this build, just like my other one, uh, we're we're being a strength build because it's it's not easiest, but it's what I'm used to. I am doing a uh, faith build and a magic build on two separate. Um, save files as well but I haven't really gotten the hang of those yet so I'll just be doing this so we're gonna choose Temple Knight and you get to pick a starting gift as well all of these are pointless you will get them later literally no reason to get any of this except for this ring the providential ring you may as well it's the best starting gift it lets you uh, find more rare items more frequently. Um, let's see, foundation, animation, what kind of walk do we want? A uh, hunched over walk. Yeah! Look at that grimace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds like an anime fight. I'll go with that one. Why not? I'm not going to be too in-depth with this. I am going to change my hair, though, because my lord, that is horrendous. Oh, uh, if you hear squeaking a lot, I apologize. It's not going to be edited out. I have no way to edit videos. This is my dog, Ember, playing with her toy. She goes crazy at night. So, if you hear that in the background, sorry, it's just there. I'm not going to tell her how to live her life. She wants to be happy playing with her toys. She can be happy playing with her toys. Alright, hairdo. Oh, oh my lord, I've never seen that one before. Wow. Fabio in the house. Um, <laughs> it's 
straight up coconut head. Uh, let's get... I like this hairdo. It's the closest to my hair right now. We'll do that. Oh, I am blonde, however, so... Oh, I'm not, I'm not pea yellow, I'm blonde. Oh, oh. No. Let's get... A little bit more... That looks green. What, what is going on? There we go. Look at... Well, it's still kind of green looking. Dirty dishwater blonde. Sure. Why did it not save the hair? I just realized that. There we go. That's better. Alright, cool. Facial hair... Mm. Should I go with what I wish I had? Or what I do have? Oh. This is what I do have. No, it's more like that. It's patchy. Patches of Hulan. I'll go there. I do have that scar on my nose, so that's very accurate, and I'm very white, so, like, pale as the moonlight. So, actually, it's a pretty good, pretty good start, yeah. I, I do need blue eyes, though. I mean, come on. You can make your eyes look freaking weird in this. Uh, I do not need gecko eyes. That's pretty cool. Let's do blue. Make them white. Oh, that's cool. I'm doing that. Uh, Alright. Finalize that, because it doesn't really matter. Please enter your name. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I can't be a nameless warrior. Uh, what should my name be? Uh, Frank. Frank the Temple Knight. Yes. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. But the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the Silent Chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astria with her Knight Gal Vinland. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. 
A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fisher. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. All right, we're in. Um, so immediately, my weight is horrible. I'm at. Hold on, what's my weight at? I'm at 99.5%. What the heck am I doing? Ain't no fat rolling here, boys. Can I keep my helmet on? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I look ridiculous, but... Alright, so... Let's move that here. Not even going to be using it, but I'm going to move it. Ember's watching the TV so intently. It's adorable. Look at that chest. You've been working out. Uh, let's see. So, let's start the game. As you can tell, it looks gorgeous. Um... And the loading time is insane, as advertised. It does work. Uh, let's see. So, I'm going to immediately two-hand this. W every weapon, pretty much, I ever use is going to be two-handed. Unless I need some extra defense from a shield. I'm going to be going two-handed. Double the damage. Twice the fall. This first area is meant to be a tutorial area. So we're just gonna kind of run through it, pick up what we can. You may as well go through this. At least your first time you should go through this area. Just kind of get the hang of things. Um, let's go ahead and show these reflections on the ground. This game does not use um, ray tracing, and it still looks incredible, so I'm going to put my shield up for this dude. Nice. Run around here. Go up here, grab this, it's probably, yeah, some moon grass. Uh, you heal with moon grass in this game, you do not use Estus Flasks. Um, it's kind of more similar to like the Bloodborne style, where you pump blood in your body. In your Gucci gang. Alright, jump over this. We're gonna try to strong hand these dudes. Well, that did not work. Okay, there we go. Already took damage from a grunt. This might not end well, guys. You want to try to attack them mid-attack because you get extra damage. Like this. Bam! And they're dead. Uh, kind of look around so y'all can enjoy the Senra. The lighting in this game is phenomenal. Water phys physics though, not the greatest. Seems a little lacking, but everything else in the game is gorgeous. Uh, we're gonna run over here, grab some more crescent grass, I believe. Yep. Go ahead and top myself off so I don't die prematurely. That'd be embarrassing. And here's your loading times. One, two, two seconds. I'm trying to parry this guy. Oh, yeah. That is in your groin, sir, and I apologize. I, mm, 
That is, no one deserves to go out that way. Okay. Run over here, see if I can bury this dude too. Nope! Let's kill you the old fashioned way. Uh, these dudes ahead, really beneficial to parry them. Blue eyed knights. Let's see if we can manage. Oh, yes! That was not in your groin. That was in your bladder. More acceptable. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can pop this dude off as well. That's cute. You wanna do something? Hmm. My parries are on point today! Well, almost. They'd be on point if I actually managed to parry that other dude. So we're gonna go back to two hand. Grab some of this half moon grass. There's different types of moon grass. You can dodge uh, bolts, crossbow guys. Really easy. You literally just walk to the left or right. If you stand still though, I've noticed, and it's pretty cheap, um, it's like they have homing, <laughs> homing bolts. They'll just kinda they'll curve midair and you can watch them. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time hearing you. <laughs> Be gone. <laughs> Just like booped him on the head. I was going to try to backstab that guy, but whatever. Right, let's go through this fog. What's up? You want to tussle? You want to tussle? Come on. There we go. That's more like it. Pretty slick animations for all your weapons in this game. Right, let's run down here and grab... Half Moon Grass? I did not mean to do that, but I guess it's good that I did. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Half Moon Grass on, because this next area is the tutorial boss. I'm gonna try my hardest, but if I die, we're just gonna go with it. If you don't die though, you go into an area that shows a later boss, and it's pretty cool, so I'm gonna try my hardest to kill him. Again, if I don't, I apologize. Um, so, typical strategy if you're playing along. Run in here two-handed this weapon, lock on to him as soon as you can, and get behind him and start smacking his booty. And I mean that very literally. Hey, big guy. Just like that. Give him a nice little slice. Most of his attacks, you can dodge if you get the timing right. Yep. Not ideal. He's pushing against the back wall a lot, which is kind of cheap. Uh, he does this. Try to get behind him as much as you can. Would you quit? Wow, he's being extra... Not okay with any of this. I, mean, I wouldn't be happy about a dude like poking me up the butt either. Okay. We got him halfway. He has not done what he normally does was that. His jump. Got him away from the wall. Right? He does that, you normally want to roll away. I goofed it. Just 
trying to stay behind him so I can heal. Back up. Go in. We almost got him. Back up. Oh, we got him. Nice. All right. Whew. Pressure's off. We got the Vanguard Demon. Now, if you didn't kill him, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but you will miss this next section. But everything you can get in this next section, you can get later on in the game playing normally. So, don't beat yourself up. If you're really that worried about it, just restart. So grab that demon soul, touch the archstone, and I get to show you all the really cool part of this game. Ah, yes. We hear you. Grab that iron helm. This, my friends, is the dragon god. Now, we will be fighting him much later, and he is way more intimidating than he actually is. Uh, deadly? At least in the boss fight. But he's just cool in general. I mean, look at that. He was cool back in the day. I was like, holy crap. Uh, in this remake, they de their design for him was spot on. They did a great job. They did a great job with everything. Grab some full moon grass. Get all this good loot. There's some early upgrade materials. Yep, yep, yep. And prepare to die. There is no way around it. You're going to die in the tutorial tutorial area one way or another because you have to to see the nexus. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. They got all the original voice actors to come back in and redo their lines. Uh, Blue Point has an excellent track record of remakes. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Voluntaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus. But the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. You have died, and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. The story of this game isn't as uh, you know weird, I guess, as the other games. Not as straightforward. This one's decently straightforward. I mean, hey, Ember. No. That's your harness. Leave it alone. Hey. Sorry. She's a puppy. Um, hi, girl. Um, the story of this one is a little more uh, straightforward. So there's there's a, some some corrupt king uh, sought out the help of demons or something. Well, awoke an old demon and released demons onto the world and your job is to stop them all that's basically the gist of it I mean that's basically the gist of any Demon Souls-esque game Soulsborn uh, but that's this one so this is your hub area uh, there are four 
Yes, four worlds. No, five worlds. I'm so sorry. There's world one, 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 two, one, three, and one, four. They've each got different sections. Uh, world two, one, two, 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 three. World three, one, three, two, three, three. World four, one, four, two, four, three. And world five, one, four, uh, five, two, five, three. So, you have to start at this one. Um, I'm not even going to bother talking to this guy. He's annoying. He's a little uh, crybaby and he's going to sit there the entire game and ponder about how he can't do anything about his life. Um, but you essentially, these are your levels. You walk up to them. We'll be able to unlock all of them later and kind of hop back and forth between what we want to do. This one is broken. It's always been broken. In the original, it was broken. Everybody's hoping for DLC. It's not going to happen. They're going to stay as true as they can to this. Uh, later, all these areas will have uh, NPCs that you've either rescued or met along the way. Um, we can talk to these NBC, NPCs. NBC? Great television network. Just kidding. Um, we can talk to all these NPCs, but I'm not going to. The only ones I'm really concerned with here are... My dude, your name the old man, your he's a blacksmith. I'm going to skip all of his uh, stuff here. Uh, let's see. Um, we can't get the battle axe yet. We're going to want that battle axe. Let me see. Let me consume some souls. Um, there we go. And we can use that soul as well. I can forge weapons for so let's go ahead and buy that axe. We're going to use this for a long time. Oh, we're, we're, calm down, sir. We're going to throw that on. Oh, we're going to store this. This guy will hold it for us. Good old Thomas. Um, now, if you did beat that uh, Vanguard Demon, you should have the materials from that place to upgrade your weapon to at least plus one, so that's what I'm going to do. If not, do not worry about it. You will be fine until you can. Um, this thing's pretty gnarly. Two-handed is pretty beastly. One-handed, it's okay, but two-handed is where it's at. Uh, we're going to keep our armor like this for a while until we can upgrade and wear our armor a little more. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show some stuff in the Nexus that you can get and the easiest way I've found to get them without dying all the time. Uh, so, if you look down there, there's a bright glowing spot all the way down there. There you go. That's an item, and then over here there's another one. I think they're both. One of them's like a soul, and one of them's new moon grass, I believe. Um, so the way to get down there is basically go to this step, this one, and this one, and then I roll to get to here. And then I'll drop down here, drop here, and we should be good from here. Now you just want to fall straight to the sledge. And we got it. Nice. Grab that new moon grass, and then you can... Yes, Emperor, I know you love your toy. Fall down here. If you fall too far, you automatically die. So just try to be a little bit precise with it. I don't know why I just went all the way around to go back up, but I did. Uh, if you notice, my uh, health is half of what it used to be because I died. Um, we're going to stay in soul form probably for the whole game because, like I said, I don't think I'm going to fool with uh, dark and light tendency because I do not care. Um, and the rings associated with it, you need them for the trophy and some items you need for the trophy, but I don't. We'll see. If if I get comments saying you want me to go through it, then I'll consider it, but I'm not too fond on it. Okay, so we're going to go mostly because, it, it, I mean, it's really tough to get it all done. I'm surprised I did. 
and it's just monotonous and tedious and boring. Um, so this is tricky. We're gonna want to roll, and I missed it, and I'm dead. Dang it! I actually think I approached that wrong. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're in the Nexus still anyway, so go back up. Our soul should be at the top of these steps. Or not. Are they all the way up here? Oh, they're there! That's lovely. Uh, okay, well I guess we're gonna try it again, so... I'm gonna drop down. Drop down again. Get my souls. We're gonna roll. There we go. So you wanna hit that. Let me roll off on down to this part. Drop down again. Drop down a third time. And then... Drop final time. And we got it. Yep, it's a soul. So there's some early... Uh, heavy duty... Uh, healing items and a pretty decent soul. I am however going to take that off because I don't want to use them right now and I just put it back on. Save those for in game. You're gonna need as many of those as you can later on to heal up your massive health bar and the amount of damage bosses do. So I think we're just gonna kinda here, I'll talk to him anyway. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Politaria. That is why I came. Um, that's Anton what she said. Thomas. When the scuds came, I didn't know what hit me. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my. I would be happy to lighten your load. And look that's exactly what he does. He will see I've been dropping off stuff uh, to him as we've gone on, just to kind of help myself out along the way. Any upgrade materials which is going to show up in your materials tab, just go ahead and send them to Stockpile Thomas. They do weigh you down quite a bit. And uh, you do not need to have them in your inventory physically to upgrade, so there's no reason to hang on to them. Um, so that's Stockpile Thomas, he's an OG. He will keep all of your valuables, and he does not steal them. He is a nice man. Um, yeah, there's the Nexus. There's the first part. We got through the tutorial unscathed, except for being punched in the face by a giant dragon god. Um, which I will note, that was pretty cool attention to detail. The first time I ever did that, I did not have a helmet on. And I just skid across that uh, floor, and it gushed blood out, as you would expect. But this time I did have a helmet on, and if you do notice, or if you look back at it, it scrapes, uh, sparks start flying off of the ground. So that was a really cool attention to detail. Just little things. Little things are really cool. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, and we'll probably make each, each section its own little video. Um, so some might be longer, some might be shorter. Uh, but there you go. There is part one of Demon Souls. Hope you all enjoy. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.